Hey, what's up, guys? Ooh, it is nippy out today and windy. Two things that are not fun when you're on a bicycle. So I'm about to head out on the road. I'm not going to get a whole lot of video of my ride. I am, however, going to stop and uh, have a discussion. I have, uh, I believe, three topics I'm going to talk about. Um, maybe a couple of them are going to be controversial, and that's good. I like controversy. I like debate and discussion. So, yeah, we're going to get a roll on, and we'll see you soon. See ya. What's up guys just got up here to the court square uh, probably about five miles in I hope uh, gonna do a little discussion and hopes that we don't get interrupted by anyone so uh, one of the first things I want to talk about is freedom of religion and speech these are things that people seem to forget these days. We're not all supposed to follow the same path. We're not all supposed to think the same, do the same, be the same. We're all supposed to have our own opinions and thoughts. And that is something that is not well received a lot of times. And I have a hard time with it whenever people try to force things on you from either political or religious beliefs. Uh, forcing something on someone is not how it's done and I don't like it and I usually don't put up with it. I'm not really outspoken about a whole lot of things but when it comes to those things I, I tend to get riled up pretty quickly. Um, I try to always be, um, hold on, we have a nice loud truck. I always try to be respectful, but I always try to stand my ground on things. Uh, um, yeah, as a lot of you know, I am an atheist. Um, best case scenario for those who wish I was something different I might be agnostic so and, and I live in the Bible Belt and I have sisters that are uh, Christians and it's hard for them to understand uh, even my wife believes you know she believes in uh, the Bible and all that stuff and that's great uh, we get along we don't really discuss religion and all that stuff very often at all. So, <coughs> it works out for us. 
So anyways, yeah, so I'm on a Facebook group called Rants and Raves, and I've brought up things and stood my ground a few times on there, and I'm probably going to get kicked out because some people are allowed to express their opinions, uh, whether it's just using a word, uh, thank you God, uh, thank you Jesus, amen, praise the Lord. You shouldn't be able to do that because their rules clearly state no talking of religion, and that is religious talk. Uh, and I don't agree with it. And I only don't agree with it because they like to make a stink about other people saying other things. They don't allow any of that discussion, and that should be part of it. So, anyway, that's kind of what brought this on. So there's discussion number one. That's about all I have to say. If you want to comment uh, what your thoughts and opinions are, go for it. I'm up for a good discussion. Uh, just keep it clean. Alright guys, back again here. Um, discussion number two that I have today is about President Trump and people having an issue with Make America Great Again. Now, as far as I'm concerned, and as far as what it means to me, what President Trump means is make America great again uh, our jobs um, our economy um, our place in the world uh, as far as I guess the only word I can use pecking order uh, where we used to be people used to be proud of America uh, People used to want to be here. People used to love it. Uh, we used to be like the biggest, baddest country, and and we are not anymore. Uh, we are very low on the totem pole, and it's embarrassing. Um, make America great means jobs. It means get our education system back up, get our health care back up, treat people right. Um, in a nutshell, that is what make, a great, make America Great means to me. Um, it has nothing to do with exporting everyone that comes over here from Mexico or anywhere else. It has to do with making sure that you're legal to be here in the first place. And that you go through the proper steps just like we would have to go through the proper steps. And there's nothing wrong with that. That is the way it should be. Every country does it. You are not allowed to just go wherever you want and do whatever you want. There are rules. And regulations. Uh, whether it's man, woman, or child, you're supposed to abide by those rules. If you don't, then you're subject to being exported, uh, held, you know, uh, in jail, prison, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, and that is absolutely acceptable, and that's what would happen to us if we tried to go somewhere and live illegally as well. So, having said that, that is my thoughts on Make America Great. Leave your comments, let's talk, debate, let's keep it clean and adult, and we'll see you there again. Peace. Alright guys, my third and final discussion on this bike ride is uh, I finally let my wife know exactly what I was wanting to do this year and that is get a new road bike uh, as you know if you watch my videos if you've kept up with stuff you know that I have a 2010 Trek FX 7.3 there it is and I am the third owner and I know that I have put a lot of miles on it since I got it in at the end of November 2016 and I know the guy before me put a lot of miles on it because I know the guy and uh, he's a big rider so I don't know about who before him how many miles they put on but uh, you know, I don't know that. So, anyways, I let my wife know. Get
yes, we live in the south. That's the home of everyone has a loud truck. So anyway, yeah, so I told her, you know, what I was wanting to spend and what I needed to spend to get a somewhat decent uh, road bike that I'm looking for with a chrome molly frame and drop handlebars and disc brakes. So those of you that know bikes know, you know, what I'm talking about. Um, I've always said that you don't really need a bicycle that costs more than a thousand dollars. But when it comes to a bike like this that I tend to ride quite often, uh, my budget has went up to $1,500. And that should get me a proper chrome molly, drop handlebar, disc brake, road bike. I'm not looking to get the best. I'm not looking to even get middle ground. Uh, I'm perfectly fine on lower end models. And thousand to fifteen hundred dollars should get me a pretty decent bike that should last me a long time especially having a chrome molly frame so anyways that's the good news on that subject um if you like comment share your ideas give me some ideas on some bikes in that price range not a dollar more uh, i'm looking for 700c wheels I'd like to be able to fit up to um, a 38 size wheel or a tire. Uh, I guess 38C or 38. Yeah, a 38C at least, at, at the most. You know, that's what I have on here, and they feel really good. Um, I'd rather not have the compact gearing if that's uh, where they are such big and so big in the front because they're thinking that everyone can go and push these big gears I'd rather have somewhere around a 40 something tooth down to about a 32 tooth in the front with as many as 10, 11, 12 gears in the rear <coughs> so if you have any ideas hey let me know and I do appreciate it everyone thanks for watching I'm going to get back on the road playing the old commercials again. Hold this! I like it. A lot. I can see it coming in the night of night. Oh no.
people. Alright guys, I made it home. Ah, good little ride. I did stop about 12 miles in. Got me a little steak and shake. And all in all, I got just over 16 miles. That's pretty good in this cold, windy weather. It is sunny out, beautiful. It is cold and windy. So, yeah, I'm glad to be done. Come here. Look. Say hi. Say hi to everyone. So that there is Mr. Axel. He has made a cameo a time or two in my videos. What are you doing? Huh? What a pain. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the discussion. Um, a little extra on the 2019 bike update. Um, the only reason that I'm having an option uh, to get a, a, a new bike is because we got a small bill paid off and we're fixing to have a really big six year long payoff, uh, bill paid off. Uh, otherwise it wouldn't be an option. Uh, I'd have to keep the track and try to deal with it and get cables fixed and brakes and all that kind of stuff. So, but. Uh, yeah, so we're fixing to be a little step closer to being more debt free. So I am happy and pleased with that. Mm -mm, no whining. You can't whine. Come here. Where are you going? So anyways guys, I am out. I'm going to get out of all these damn clothes. Get inside and warm up. So don't forget to get up, get out, get wrapped. And do it to it even when you have a little crybaby dog who's whining like a little baby see y'all later